friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and while I am making a pretty new video, totally different than what I normally do, uh, I gotta say, I'm making this for my big brother, because I love him, but my older family seems to be a little bit electronically challenged, and so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the video game emulator called RetroArc. Um, now I gotta say, I, I found this... I'm, I'm going to say on accident. I would love to say that I found this on purpose and like I've known about this for a really long time, but I haven't. This is totally new. I mean, I've, I've been using it for about six months now and I've absolutely loved it. Um, I do have video game emulators on my computer. I have game emulators on my phone and on different tablets. Um, but one of the things that this allows me to do is play some games that I've owned in the past that I, that I love that I just can't, I don't have the systems anymore to play, right? And it just, it's too hard, too frustrating to do. And so RetroArch is this really cool platform that allows you to play some of these old games that you've owned, of course, right? I'm not, you know, suggesting anyone sail the seven seas, right? That's, that's the sound of piracy. I'm not suggesting that, YouTube or the government, because I know you're watching. Um, what I am suggesting is that uh, there are some really cool things out there that you've done before. And so this this allows you to play. So it's called RetroArch. If you want to go and look up more information on it, RetroArch. Sorry, I keep saying Arch. RetroArch.com, A-R-C-H. Um, you've got news. You've got downloads. You've got interfaces. This allows you to play on everything. And there's different platforms that allow you to walk through. Um, I'm going to show you how to install it and load it up, right? Uh, I've got this on my phone. I have just finished playing Shining Force 1, Shining Force 2. Those are my favorite games, old Sega games. Uh, I'm in on the midst of playing Shining Force CD. That's right. It's on Sega CD. I bought a Sega CD in college for the express position purpose of playing Shining Force CD. And I just I, I just couldn't be bothered with it. I just didn't play it. But now that it's on my phone, I can take it anywhere. It's so much easier. So let's go ahead and jump into um, my BlueStacks. BlueStacks is the, the app emulator that I use to kind of like, you know, play games, right? Um, these are typically apps. Right now I've got blues um, other blue stacks i've got my three that i've been maintaining i got heroes Catan, and retroarch so once you what you need to do is in your google you can go just type in retro arch and this is it right there liberto is the app what you'll do is you'll download it and you know give it a right a rate uh it's pretty dope it allows you to play a ton of different games this is what you will probably see more or less. Um, if you don't use an emulator, you can uh, just download it onto your phone. But once it's downloaded, once it's installed, you should be good. Unless you have Apple, which my brother does. Ugh. Now, if you don't know my stance on Apple, I love their uh, privacy platform but to me if i if i want to play video games if i want to tinker with a product and i'm a tinkerer man you just can't go wrong with everything else but this is what you need to do this is your main menu right it looks you've got a lot of different options you've got load core load content history online updater net play information configure file some games you will need to configure a file and you'll need to kind of like tweak some stuff but for the ones i'm specifically going to show you i.e shining force uh you don't need to do anything a lot of the more basic games so nintendo regular sega you're not going to need to do much of anything once you start getting to like cds and cd roms you, you might need to do stuff now you're going to need to download a core okay now the cores are the different types of uh emulators that you're going to need to download right um, depending on what you want to play will depend on what you are, what core you're going to need to download. So no, I'm playing, Sh uh, Shining Force. So I'm going to need to download a Sega Genesis core. There's a lot of different ones available. There's a couple different ones available. Um, Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn, um, 
this is the Mega System, this is Game Gear, MD, I think Master Drive, and then CD, right? So this is all of the stuff that you can play with. But there's a lot of other cores out there. Um, I really, really, really loved NFL Blitz. I've owned it like twice. And freaking Nintendo and none of these other games, they're not, they're not putting out games like Blitz, right? There's just no one that I can do. I can't play football and do like a leg slam after I tackle somebody. That's just insulting. I want to do that. Uh, but once you've downloaded a core, you've just chosen yours, you click on it, and then you need to go to load content. Now, for us playing on the, this is an emulator with Bluestacks, I'm going to actually have to upload the content to Bluestacks. So I'm going to show you here in a second. But what you'll do is you'll come here and you'll figure out where you've kept your storage or where you're storing your game, um, and then you'll be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over here to my media drive. This is essentially the back end, and it will look like what your phone will probably look like, except it's got these two little guys, import from Windows, export to Windows. Now I'm going to go to, let's see, I've got it in my downloads. Do, do, do. Hopefully this doesn't give anybody like, you know, the ability to hack me. So I'm going to go in here and it's got this .smd. That's the file name. That's the little thing that you'll need to um, play, right? That's the, it's like if it's an MP3 player or an MP3, you play at that. So I've loaded a core and I've got to figure out where I stored it. Now, if you're not paying attention like me, what you'll just need to do is you'll go to your downloads and like, well, it's not there. And then you just need to find it. Well, where did I put it? Uh, I could go back through and do the easy thing like, oh, where was it? Or I could, you know, jump to parent directory and, well, no items there. DC, oh, shared folder. This is where it is. Shining Force. Now you ready? Boo, ya, grandma. And just like that, it's loaded up and it is ready to play. You get this awesome little introduction and then you've got this. I've got my sound turned off for, you know, kicks and giggles. Um, because usually when I'm playing this, I'm like listening to an audio book or something else. Um, but the cool thing here, you can speed it up. If you don't want to watch it, you can speed it up double the speed. Oh, look at all that story that's going by that's wasted. Oh, so sad. Or one thing that you're going to want to do. And this is important, especially if you're playing Shining Force 1, 2, or any of the other ones. Apparently, Shining Force CD doesn't have this, which is really frustrating. You scroll down here, and you say to yourself, you know what? There were a lot of games on the Game Genie that had extra cheats. I want to find those cheats. I want to figure out how I can cheat at this game. Now, what you need to do is you go to the button that says Cheats. Now, I thought for some reason, I don't know. Now, I couldn't find it er earlier. What I did is I applied, hit auto apply cheats during game load, apply after toggle. Then, you, before you do anything, click apply changes. After that, go to uh, load cheat. Oh, crap. What was the name of it? It was load cheat file append. Okay. Then it's going to show you all of the different things that you can pick from as far as a game that has potential cheats, right? Or, and again, these aren't necessarily cheats. These are the Game Genie, Game Gear things that allowed you to, you know, add codes for like infinite life. And then you scroll down and you find the game that you are looking for. Now, again, I will say that not all games have the like cheats or Game Gear, Game Genie quotes or codes or anything like that and so what you do is you find your game now i'm scrolling down uh, and i'm seeing a lot of games that i probably wish that i could have played i saw scooby-doo there in a minute a minute ago shadow of the beast where are you shining for shack food Do you guys remember shack food i think it was dope shining force usa usa europe action role play right figure out which one you have uh, for me, I'm using the Shining Force USA. Um, it's going to load those cheats, and all of a sudden, boom. Everything that I have 
uh, every possible cheat that could be here is now here. Um, and so let's see. I'm going to go. Where's the one? Infinite. Let's do this. And what I do is I just click on it and I enable ugh, and I enable it. Then I back out and I do that for all of the ones that I want. This is looking like it might have been a character that I enabled. So I want to be careful because, you know, that may not help me right off the bat in this in the start of the game. Um, additionally, we've got a few other things here at the bottom. If you don't want to scroll through everything, just go to the bottom. Um, we've got uber specific. Let's go with this one. Hero starts with 50 max HP. So let's turn that on. Uh, I'll back out and then I'm going to just scroll up. But before I exit anything, always, 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 after you've clicked, like add a cheat, click apply changes. Now you may have to go in each time to, um, when you're playing the game to load the cheat, if you want to use it, but you may not depending on how you've set it up. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, won't it be embarrassing if I didn't do the cheat right? So I'm logging in. Oh, I think Dark Dragon's coming back. Will you help me with an adventure? New. No. Yes. Say what shall I call you? Um, I'm going to go with a... Nice to meet you. A... you evil spreading across Runefast. Chapter one. All right. Now... Ah, ah. Yeah, so that's that's the thing. So this is the game that's starting. Let's take a look. Max, was it max health that I turned on? Doo -doo -doo. I got to figure out how I, I'm going to click A. Now, if you have like a touch screen, this makes it a lot easier. Um, right now I'm using my mouse to control it. You can set it up for, uh, what do you call that? Ah! Sorry. Um, you can set it up for uh, just controls on a keyboard, which is really nice. Um, let's see. Talk, search, magic, item. I want to go to my stats. There we are. Talk. No one's in that direction. Ugh, of course. Right. So this is how you set up and play this game. Now, um, that cheat didn't work, so you might need to you know, play around with it and see what's going on. But ladies and gentlemen and dear brother, this is how you load a game. It was a very long winded, awkward. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've played this. It's on my phone. It's on my com computers. It is a ton of fun. It's allowed me to play games. I haven't played with in a long time. I have debated actually streaming shining force. Cause it's a dope game. I've also wanted to make my own, RPG based off of a Shining Force model that I think would just be awesome. I don't know. Just going to say that. Love you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day, a great week, a great life. I hope if you are interested, if you want to support the channel, if you want to get Going Nerdy swag, check out the link in this section below for going links to my, my swag store. Also links to a free audio subscription to Audible. Two free books, one month, absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a thing. But it does help me as a creator. So, love you guys. Have a great day. And remember, this has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy. Oh.